Since leaving Roslyn, we head into the little north to a gorgeous little town called Invermere and settle in a spot at the base of Panorama Mountain, where we then received a call that set in motion a new adventure in Banff National Park. So it's super exciting, uh, we're super stoked, uh, haven't seen him in quite a while, so another really cool thing. And then we're going to go travel through Banff National Park and ski in Lake Louise and Sunshine Village. I think it's like only a week, but it's going to be so good, so fun, and um, yeah, it's going to be a different experience because there'll be three people in this rig instead of just two. Let's go get Dave. Yeah. Park has no free campsites and does not allow overnight parking anywhere in the park. Tunnel Mountain Campsite is the only site open during winter and is five minutes from the village with a bus. The views when we woke up and the access to fresh water and sandy dump made it well worth it. <laughs> slept at Tunnel Mountain last night, which was really nice. Woke up to a gorgeous view. And now we are on our way to get Dana some skis. So, so we can go skiing. Um, so we're going to Sunshine Village today. Um, do today at Sunshine and then we'll see from there. And um, yeah, just gonna stroll through the village, get some skis and then head on up. Yeah. Our first day at Sunshine Village was spent with Dano relearning to ski. So day two, we came back and left the Bunny Hill. We got to venture out a little more and explore some of Sunshine Village's terrain, as well as the breathtaking views. I also took it upon myself to try and find some of the old pal on a solo run. Thank you. 
All right, so we have done two days of skiing at um, Sunshine Village, and now we are taking a break for the morning to do something different. So we're gonna go ice skating on Lake Louise. So we'll see how we go. It's something we can do with Maya too. And um, taking the gorgeous views. After a morning of ice skating, we headed to Lake Louise Ski Resort to explore some different terrain. Lake Louise is about an hour's drive from Banff, but the skating on Frozen Lake and exploring the resort was really special. Bobby. Today we headed back in town one last time to grab some brunch at Farmer Fire and some pastries from the Uprising, both which we would highly recommend before making the journey back into Calgary. Skiing. I love spending time with Jake and Claire and Maya, of course. <laughs> Maya, of course. Alright, so that wraps up our little Banff adventure. Um, from here we actually don't really know what's going to happen <laughs> because um, this season has been super weird. Um, we have some really warm weather coming in, so mm -hmm. like we're not sure how much the snow is going to melt, what snow is going to be left. We're hoping to still get in a couple of resorts, but um, honestly, we're, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, we might be getting the bikes out sooner than we thought, and it could be turning into a summer trip. Who knows? Hit that subscribe button, like the video if you liked. We will see you next time. Get it. Go, go.